Holy shit. No. Ah. Damn it. It blew up the spider as well. Got some string. But, I mean, I have a farm for that, so. Right, we don't want you blowing up. Oh, God. Lesson to be learned from this. Don't go out here at night. Because all the creepers... Yeah, I've, I've been up top of the kelp farm. Skeleton obviously burned up there. I got 14 bones so far from killing skeletons. Um. Hello, where's the spider gone? Who's the spider? Z. These villagers and this breeder, they've been trading potatoes, they've been giving each other potatoes, but they haven't got. I know, yeah, I should probably eat. Right, um, so yeah, hello and welcome back to Minecraft with NBC, with NBC Trader 03. This is episode 66, I think. Let's see some more, no, no, uh, right now let's see some more chicken. And, yeah, last episode we built the kelp farm, which is over there. We've still got the dirt up, we haven't got, yep, we haven't managed to get, like, hoppers in or anything. I'm gonna need to do a bit of mining for that. Uh, slash, you know, digging around to see, you know, what iron we've got. Cause, yep, yeah, iron farm broken. It, it, it it's officially con. It, well, it's been officially confirmed for a while that this thing here does not work in 1.13. And with regards to this beacon. I actually found uh, a lot of quite a few blocks in the yeah in a chest up here yeah in a, in a shulker box up here there were quite a few blocks of um, some pr no it was in this shulker box here which I got while mining and there we go we've got quite a bit of iron already um, so yeah, we've actually got, we could smelt up quite a bit of gold, let's put that in there. But yeah, for now, we just want, we want the iron. It's, it's probably not going to be enough, but, right, uh, let's put 32 in there, grab that out. Um, and we've got chests, good. Right, so we want. Can throw that out. Let's craft. Hoppers. A uh, uh, bang. Uh, and then we want to put these, like, there. Throw out the dirt. Um. Right, we've got iron smelting up there. And actually, there might be something. Shame you can't really use lapis for. Well, I need to move that chest up here because it's got lapis in. Right, we've got this guy in here. Ten emeralds for silk touch. Do you have? You know what? Let, let's empty my inventory first. Some kelp in here. Right, um, yeah, we really need a storage system. Um, let's find put those in there as well. Then we can get those out. Craft a few 
stone brick slabs. Yes, there we go. Right. Let's. Uh, right. So that would be. Right, get another guy in. Could quite a few more guys in. We could. Nice. Chip Danville. Hmm. We'll move him to. Oh, we don't actually have a corner to put him in. Uh, in fact, you know what? I'll just put him on top of the. Like, this was originally an enchanting room. It's now. Uh, no, uh, let's put him there. It's now turned into a bit more of a villager trading area. Right. Uh, we got signs. Right. But let, <coughs> let's make ourselves a few more signs. But you know what, let's, uh, let's do that first. Put slabs all the way along here. You'll see why in a bit. Then we put that along to there. And then we can get rid of them here, 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 and here. So then we've got all these village trading booths. Oh, no. uh, jungle with trap doors. Right, I'll get a load of those. Right, so we now we've got. I've labelled out a few, you know, um, tool enchantments here. Then we've got unbreaking and mending as well here. Then I've got a few sword enchantments. This is going to lead through down a different corridor to a different area where we'll be, you know, more villagers. Although I don't know whether I want this to be just temporary, the villagers in here. I mean, this is, you know, we've got Anvil. I've put a crafting table in as well now. Enchanting table. <coughs> and then a load of librarian villagers. But of course we will have other villagers to get, our, to get us emeralds. But right now... Let's check. Do I have... Emeralds anywhere. No. Eleven emeralds. Nice. Right, so we've got ten emeralds. We just need a book. Yeah, just as I check it, it's on the last one. Bang. 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 Twenty two hoppers, still not enough. Nowhere near enough for the farm, but we're getting there. Uh, right. Um, I looked in there. Looked in there. I might just need to go out to where I've got sugarcane planted and harvest some from there. Yeah, then we've got leather in here. Leather. That is something that we need. Yeah, leather. One leather. We need three sugar cane or three paper. Right, I'll see you when I've got that and we already had the we already had four leather in our inventory. Right, well done mate, I'll see you in a bit. Right, yep, yeah, nothing. Exactly what I would have thought. Let's uh, fly out this way. Oh, and yeah, we do, we do have the emerald blocks we put on the beacon. That was literally just... I, I put all my mineral blocks here. Just for... Look at more iron to make hoppers. I'm tempted just to strip this of its iron. There's iron under there, to, under there too. What am I doing with my resources? 
That, I just, I literally built that for an episode thumbnail, for a thumbnail, and I've never removed it. I know that kind of seems ridiculous, but yeah, but that's how it is. Right, we've got a small amount. Actually, you know what? You know what? That's all we need. All we need. I don't need to eat that second bit of chicken, but never mind. Right, let's swim up. Go back up to the base and can, uh, finally make a book. Huh? Hmm. No, nope, didn't need that. And I've just popped over 30 levels. He's upgrading. Huh? 10 books for an emerald, 11 emeralds for a compass, 4 emeralds for a bookshelf. Right. Time to unlock more trades! Of course, it'd be pretty much the last one I looked in. There we go. <laughs> mm, first part of this episode is just unlocking the trades on a cell touch villager. Upgrade yourself. Two written books for it. Two written books for emerald. Eleven emeralds for a clock. An emerald for a piece of glass. I want to know what other tr trades he has, so I'm just going to waste all of my emeralds. And then I can just sell them paper afterwards. <laughs> oh, this is funny. We've got this one villager and. He's not showing us any of his book trades apart from a really good. Se the rest of his trades aren't aren't going to be that good. Three pieces of glass. Come on, mate. Yes. You one. What can I say? <laughs> this guy is. But we've got this. Now there may be something I want to do with this. Yeah, that, that was the main objective of this, was to get a Silk Touch book. What have we got? Diamonds. One, two, three. Put back. Make us some sticks. Uh, we can throw... In fact, you know, we can actually throw that away. This. This. What does this do? Gives him more books. More books! Ah, <laughs> uh, no. Anyway, yeah. So, we've got... Mm. Do I just put it on my axe? immediately or do I put and make a new silk touch pick um I think new shiny silk touch pickaxe it has to be the way to go there is no other way obviously there is but yeah and then we can enchant these books in the enchanting table. So you know, you see, I'm I'm, I'm good. I'm doing good, doing good. Uh, maybe we should just see what might we get if we were to try and enchant this power thorns. Yep, not good. What would we get? If, if 
three and breaking three. Unbreaking three on a level three enchantment. Something I really want to go for there, isn't it? Because it's probably going to be more. Oh, come on. Come on. But anyway, yeah, we, we can probably get what efficiency. Oh, come on. Come on. No, I don't want I don't want strain in my inventory. Right. Put that there. Drop that on the floor. This is uh, a tense moment for me. Book. Efficiency one. Efficiency one. You know, you know what? I've got a good thing we can do with this efficiency one book. Sorry, no, with the silk touch book, even. Put it on our axe. That's a no brainer, really. Right, let's see. We've got this efficiency one. Silk touch pickaxe. We see what will this give us? Loyalty, smite, protection. Nope. Dud tool. Make that out of stone. Now the book should give us something different. Something that looks slightly better. We don't have 30 levels, right? Okay. We'll have to wait on that one. <laughs> yep, you have done too much enchanting today. But you know what? You know what I'm thinking? Yes. Let us farm the XP without a farm. Nice. I could stay at this. Right, it's now morning. We've done, well, pretty much nothing. I've got nothing to show for that. Um... Well, no, I've got, I've got two levels, nearly three, to show for it. But we haven't done... Right, was this guy, did I unlock his last trade? For the euro... On five... God, what did I do with my emeralds? Um... Yeah. Maybe, possibly... They could have. Uh, oh, I used them to buy up trades. Never mind. This thing contains a few resources, so it's going. Oh, interesting. We don't need kelp. That could have been disastrous. Um, get rid of that for the gold, for the iron, uh, we can get rid of, ooh, ooh, a lot of this stuff, I leather, <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Ah, picked up my grass blocks. Right, so that's the iron, diamond, we're going to need. To get rid of. 
I'll get rid of the arrows for that. Right, now we just need to dismantle the beacon. And that's given us quite... <laughs> That has given us given us thirty nine blocks. That that's the most important. And now, oh, I can't pick up this now. Let's my get rid of the dud pickaxe. I didn't think of getting rid of that. Yeah, that was a dud for enchanting. Right, um, so now I can convert all this into the iron, and then I can create tons of, tons upon tons of hoppers. Nice, we got, we're getting quite a good supply of hoppers. I think we've got, ah, we've got enough for one side of the farm, good. Good, good, good. I can go in there. Emerald box in there. We can put a gold block. Let's move this stuff all along. Good. <laughs> uh, now we've got 46 hoppers. Right. No, that's enough for just the collection and half. Oh dear. And then there's the beacon, which I'll, I'll put in this chest along with all the lapis and stuff. Right. Back to our enchanting session. I wanted this. Level requirement 30. Do we just go out to spider farm? I know the railway's broken, so... Yeah. I'm gonna go out to the spider farm. And... Yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Let's see. Can I get this one around the corner? I've just shot two down from... Straight in front of me. Right, that that was a sort of disappointment. Oh, I might have arrows, right. Um Well there's a yeah, I've been here for a, about half an hour and already there's a bottleneck. However I can see the cause of the bottleneck and the cause of the bottleneck is I find this glorious. I find the cause of the bottleneck glorious. And it's basically just a load of spiders right where I can kill them. Yes. <laughs> oh, how much items are we? Yeah, this is the stuff that kind of fell out of places. No, go into the go into the system. Right, yeah. Anyway, we, yeah, we haven't been on here on camera for ages. I come here every so often to, uh, well, try and get XP. I can see spiders going down the hole. Uh, we've got a little, little sniper hole there, which I try and fire my bow through. You see, if this guy up here is like that. But I don't have any arrows at the moment, so... Yeah, we probably need an infinity bow, that would have been better than mending, but this is a mending bow, so we can't put infinity on it, which is a shame. But this is, the, I like this. Yeah, I think it's probably, if the spider's AI was perfect, they would just come straight down here for me. If they're tracking and they're AI, AI and everything, AI, yeah. But no. Come on down. Or am I too tempting for you? Do you just wanna. Oh, you can hit me there, can't you? I thought that was an actual spider then, just looking at me. Uh. Yeah, we're getting quite a bit here. Lots of spider eyes. Sixty-one there, fifty-one there. It's just, yeah. 
And obviously not everything's going into the system. <laughs> and to think I literally built this just because I found a spawner here and I'm like I was like, ah, I'm going to build a farm. <laughs> Um, yeah, that was back right. This was in episode 7, I found this spawner. Well, no, it wasn't. Because between episodes 6 and 7, I dug down... I dug down to about 40, level 40 here, so I went and did some cave exploring... Uh, when I found caves, and I came round into the spawner, so yeah, you know, all was good. And then between episodes seven and eight, I dug it all the way down to bedrock because I, I was building the slime farm at that point. Give us your XP. Just give it to me now. One problem is I can't see. I would have, I probably. If I had arrows, I would have sniped that guy then. But obviously, no, I don't. Right, let's get... Up this ladder here. Uh, yeah, I'll come back to you in a bit. That's a lot of spiders. Kill them all. There was more here. I've just killed a few already. I uh, just need to make sure the that player kills and not entity cramming kills. Wow. Yes. This is what happens when you wait up for it. Just wait for it to pile up with loads of spiders. Then, wow. Wow. That is good. Very good. Top end of 27 levels now. <clears throat> that's... Right, that's a good tactic then. Obviously. Right, I'm going to go do some more of this tactic. So, yeah, there we go. That's that pretty much done, I think. 30 levels. Yeah, I can like go there. And it's night time. Right, let's um, try and get ourselves out of here. with 30 levels intact and I think I'll just use the nether to get back I didn't think about using that to get here mm. it's just oh, come on right now we're back at the base let's bang efficiency 4 that's our silk touch pickaxe that we want to put it on. Let's. Efficiency 4. I should have put that in the thing. Right, anyway, yeah. Nice. What happens if we put this last book in here? Blast protection, efficiency three, bane of arthropods. No thank you to any of them. And actually, we have quite a few emeralds, don't we? Yes, we do. Put like uh, that in there. And that in there. And we'll get ourselves a little one book. And this guy will unlock more trades. Yes, he will do. You one? Riptide 2. 31. <clears throat> right, so you are... C... 
silk touch for 10 emeralds. Your one for five emeralds. And Riptide two for thirty one emeralds. Nice. And then we're gonna go put an efficiency villager in here. Fortune there, unbreaking mending. Unless of course we get duplicates. So, yeah. But basically what it is is that this is gonna be you know, this is gonna be like Best silk touch villager. Uh, yeah, it's going to be like best silk touch villager, best efficiency, best fortune. So if we have an efficiency villager in here, then we find a better one. Put him. We just put him in. Put him. Just put him in place there. I think. And yeah, that's everything I've got time for. So. Uh. Let's go five. Yeah. So look, that guy's jumping up and down. So thank you for watching episode uh, sixty-six of Minecraft the NBC Trader Three. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for watching.